So the HTC Evo has arrived to take on the LG Optimus 3D and first impressions are very, very good. It's chunky but incredibly slick with a premium feel and bears close resemblance to the sensation but round the back it's very different. First there's its dual 5 megapixel cameras with the gold trim, then it's rugged looking rubbery ridged pattern to ensure a sturdy grip when shooting those 3D masterpieces. Now specs wise it's basically the HTC sensation just with 3D superpowers. Now obviously you're not going to be able to see its true 3D capabilities but it's glasses free 3D is actually really remarkable, especially when watching full length films. And you can of course grab 3D content from HTC's own watch application. Now it's got great viewing angles on its 4.3 inch screen and the depth is awesome. Even if you deviate from that central field of view or tilt the screen, the 3D still manages to show impressive depth. Shooting your own 3D stuff is brilliant too, although not everything portrays that impressive 3D effect. It's all about setting up that shot with objects in the foreground. Now it's taken its design cue from a compact camera, it sports a chunky shutter button as well as a slider switch to flip between 2D and 3D shooting modes for video or taking snaps which is incredibly handy. As expected 2D content looks good but it's the 3D stuff that really impresses. But unlike the Optimus 3D there's no dedicated 3D menu, instead everything is grouped together. Now 3D games are nothing to write home about, I tried at least 5 games and I could barely notice the 3D. YouTube also takes you directly to 2D content and there's no direct portal, but everything runs smoothly over both Wi-Fi and 3G with the occasional stutter. Okay, so on to its other features. It boots up incredibly quickly thanks to its dual core 1.2 GHz CPU. It's packing Gingerbread 2.3.4. It rocks the latest version of the Sense UI, so you get to launch up to four features from the screen lock page, for example. And the various menu animations and the rotating HTC Sense widgets whiz around the screen with great fluidity which is probably down to its one gig of RAM as opposed to the Sensation's 768 megabytes. Now unlike the Sensation's 1.3 megapixel front facing cam, the Evo 3D's is VGA quality, but it does sport a larger capacity battery, so it will hold on for just that little bit longer. So whether you care about 3D or not, the Evo 3D is a fantastic smartphone with 3D capabilities. And with the army of Android phones growing in numbers by the week, a phone with a unique feature is certainly very appealing.